This ABC 15 News Update is sponsored by Sanderson Ford, America's best-selling Ford dealership. Hello, I'm Justin Pazera with your afternoon update from ABC 15 Arizona. We are learning more about a deadly wrong way crash that took the lives of three GCU students Monday morning. That crash happened on the I-17 near Table Mesa Road north of New River. All three victims were freshman roommates at GCU. Investigators believe the driver who hit them was impaired at the time. Now, this is the third wrong way crash we have reported on in just weeks, bringing more attention to this problem we see often on Valley freeways. GCU tells ABC 15 the female students who died in that crash were 18 year old Abriana Hoffman and Maggie Ogden, along with 19 year old Hunter Ball. Uh, ball birdie. We heard from friends of the girls who were with them that night and they say that they were heading to Grand Canyon to the Grand Canyon to catch the sunrise. When even like when we said bye, like the hug, something yeah, about the hug. Yeah, they all hugged us really, really tight. Weird. Yeah. yeah, it was really weird. Like, and that was, like I once we like said bye, I was like, Ella, like I love them so much. Well, DPS tells us the wrong way driver is still in the hospital this morning. Troopers say impairment is a factor. Two other drivers in two separate cars had non life threatening injuries. A local business has been destroyed in a fire, but the community is already coming to help with the owners or help those owners who are left picking up the pieces. Whitman's machine shop near Grand and Roosevelt had serviced many with the within the community over the past four decades, making railroad and airplane parts. A fire destroyed that business last week, but family and friends quickly jumped in to help with the cleanup. And yesterday, the owner tells ABC 15 that he's already been getting support from an online fundraiser and hopes for more so he can build something new for the community. Let's have a party, sit around talk, and what do you all see? What do you think? The fire also damaged other businesses. We have information on how you can help on our website at abc15.com. As for what caused that fire, it is still under investigation. Tracking the week ahead, millions of Americans will be watching this week's inflation report. The government's report out Thursday is the last tool the Social Security Administration uses to determine the cost of living adjustment for next year. 66 million people get Social Security benefit checks. The Senior Citizens League predicts the cost of living adjustment or COLA will be about $144 for next year. That would be the highest adjustment since 1981. The U.S. could be on the verge of losing tens of thousands of jobs. Bank of America warns the Federal Reserve's aggressive inflation reducing policies could also slow the job market. The company says the economy could start losing 175,000 jobs a month through much of 2023. Cheaper gas could be in our future. Several West Coast refineries have been offline because of accidents or maintenance. And now that they're up and running, the national average does sit at 392 a gallon. Arizona is averaging above that. Uh, the rest of the nation at 457 a gallon. Some places still are sitting at five bucks across the valley. So are you feeling lucky? The Mega Millions drawing is tonight and the jackpot is currently at $445 million. The Powerball jackpot is also very high this morning, sitting at $420 million. The next drawing for the Powerball is Friday. This weekend is the annual Phoenix Pride Parade and Festival and ahead of the big events, we want to highlight another effort they're currently working on to commemorate not just the history of pride in the valley, but the history of our LGBTQ plus community. The Arizona LGBTQ History Project is working for or looking for pictures and videos and artifacts from people all across the state as they work to preserve these stories for future generations. It's always amazing because people say there's no history here, but oh my gosh, we have so much amazing history that has really changed the globe and has done it from right here. So if people have stories they'd like to share or photos, so we're looking for all kinds of images that represent the community. If you would like to contribute or learn more about the history project, you can head to phoenixpride.org. 
Happy Tuesday. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo with your most accurate forecast today. Another very fall like day across the state. Just a little warmer though in Phoenix and in western Arizona. The high today up to 93 degrees. Meanwhile, we'll reach the mid to upper 90s out to our west like Havasu as high as 97 today. 80s today in Kingman with 70s in Payson, Sedona a little warmer too at 82. We'll see those highs reach the mid to upper 60s in spots like Flagstaff, Heber and Window Rock. Storm chances, well, they're going to be hard to come by today across the state. We may see a stray shower or storm in northern and southern Arizona. The valley looks dry though and will be dry through the end of the week. But by the weekend, those storm chances are going up across Arizona with the best potential in the high country. But for the valley, it's looking like we could see more thunderstorms around our state, especially on Sunday. In the meantime, it'll get warmer, a high of 93 today, but as high as 97 Thursday before temperatures come down. 50s up north by Sunday, 80s here in the valley by then. Get another update tonight. Until then, get the latest news, weather, and traffic at abc15.com or by downloading the free ABC 15 mobile app. This ABC 15 news update is sponsored by Sanderson Ford, America's best-selling Ford dealership.